The 4th of July holiday is just four days away. In tonight's top story, News 10's Michael Klaus shares how you can keep your party safe and stay out of trouble. The 4th of July, it's a great time for get togethers between family and friends. Maybe you have some chips, maybe some meat on the grill. But many places will also have alcohol, and that's where problems can arise. Just know your limits and then um, be nice to other people. That's usually what happens. People don't know their limits and then they get into it with somebody else, and that's um, when we have most of our problems. It's something Chief John Plassey and the Terre Haute Police Department see far too often, especially during these summer months. Generally, we see an increase in every kind of activity when the weather is better. It's nicer out, people are more outside, and, um, and sometimes there's alcohol involved in get togethers, uh, family reunions. Plessy says these gatherings often pose the biggest problem. That's because people aren't limited on alcohol. There's no bartender there to notice if someone has had too much to drink. But unlike past years, you cannot just be cited for public intoxication anymore. An Indiana law effective July 1st of 2012 states that to be ticketed, offenders must also be in violation of another law. That statute is meant to encourage people not to drive under the influence. If you look at that statute, even though you could be drunk something in the street, that's not a reason to arrest you. So we would try to either call a cab, have someone pick them up. But don't think that means you're in the clear. That public intoxication charge can quickly be added if you endanger your life or the lives of others or if you're acting disorderly. So feel free to celebrate. Just remember to be safe and most importantly, know your limits. In Terre Haute, Michael Klaus, News 10. Now, unlike driving under the influence, there's no set drunk standard for public intoxication. That all depends on the action of the person.